Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy, presented by Yamaha. Look at that one underneath. I know. He wants that pilcher that's dangling. I let it go. Let it go down. He'll come grab it. What makes this place? Oh, oh yeah! I got two on at one time. Put a hook in the second one. On today's Sportsman's Adventures, we travel to Florida's southwest coast to fish with our good friend, Captain Jeff Page. Jeff grew up fishing this area and knows better than anyone what it takes to be successful in these waters. Today, we'll be fishing with live bait along the residential mangroves and beaches for snook, redfish, and trout. Thank you so much, Jeffrey, for inviting me to Sarasota so we can always do what we do. Welcome to Sportsman's Adventures, and I'm with Jeff Page, and this week we're going to teach you guys how to really chum a place to get fish that maybe are highly pressured or don't want to bite. So guess what? Stay tuned from Sportsman's Adventures and see exactly what we have in store for you like this snook. Look at him. He's jumping, Jeffrey, and look at all the stuff flying out of his mouth. I know. He ate a couple of those pilchers we threw up there first. The freebie. Then he ate yours. He just like Just like either. Mikey in the old Kellogg's commercials when we were kids. He ate it. <laughs> hey, Mikey. He likes it. Oh, you going to try to run me over there into the bushes? You know, that's so different for me, Jeff, to be up here looking at concrete and condos I know it. versus, it's not a bad thing. Everybody's got to live on the water. People love being on the water, you know? And the key is that, oh, oh he's got to go. He's going underneath the front of the boat. <laughs> Who's that coming at us, Rick? Oh, bat. Look at those. Those look like manna, little baby manna rays. Those are beautiful. Those are. Those are little baby mannas. Come on. Jeffrey. Look at that, Mr. Snook. Beautiful. You know what, Captain Page? It doesn't matter whether we're catching snooks or redfish or we're chasing reds in Louisiana, big trout. You always put us on a bike. Look at that guy. Nice. So today we're gonna fish pilcher drick. Yeah. And a lot of times you can go out on the beach and make one throw on clean sand and load up pilchards. The bait hasn't showed up here like that yet, so you gotta come out on the grass flats. And what we do is we mix up a batch of which is dry tropical fish food, and we mix it with salt water into a paste. And then we take it, and you just start throwing little, little kibbles of this out here. If you chum, they will come. <laughs> so I'm just going to throw a little more out here. Then I'll set my witch's brew down. Then I come over here to my cast net. And see, I already see them flashing in my slick there. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load my net. Right. The one thing about grass flat cast netting is it's messy. And that's where my Tupperware tub comes in handy. I see and that. I, so I'll show you what that is in a minute. And then I'll grab one more little hand of chum. Maybe one more just for good measure. That's what Holiday always tells me. When you think you got enough bait, he says, always throw one more time for good measure. <laughs> my Holiday. From the East Coast, that guy knows about fishing with a freaking pilchard. Yeah, he does. And then I'm just going to take this net. I'm nice. Put throw. her out there. Mm hmm. Oh, and as you look see. Look at them all flashing in there. Flicker flash. We're going to come up over the side. And then this is just a little tip that some of the crackers taught me to, to avoid getting grass all over your boat. You take your net. Right. Put your leads in there. Right. Stretch it out. Right. I'll let you go dump the bait. Okay. Your man's back there waiting on you, too. Your friend. You always told me that man in the white suit is your friend, but you've got to watch him. 
because he'll pick your pocket out on this game. Yeah. All right, so you see what I did? Yeah, I got And then it. a little tip to keep your live well clean when you see clump of grass, pick it out so you dump it in pure pilchard. Got it. And that's how easy it is, folks. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Williamson Lures for the Pelagic Playground. Maverick Boat Company, makers of premium boat brands, Maverick, Hughes, and Pathfinder. Humminbird, simply, clearly better. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. And Rapala, catch the latest at rapala.com. Introducing Helmmaster, Yamaha's first fully integrated digital boat control system. With Helmmaster, you can start your outboards with a swipe of a paw and control them with a single lever. Outboard trim and steering friction adjust automatically as you accelerate and decelerate. Adjust engine speed with the touch of a button. The Helmmaster joystick provides the means to navigate and dock precisely with confidence and ease. Take control of your next vessel with Helmmaster at your command. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. He's fished here for decades. He knows every hump, every drop off, every contour. He's dedicated his entire life to understanding this single body of water. And he didn't know squat about it until two hours ago. AutoChart Live lets you build your own high definition maps anywhere in the world in real time. Only with Onyx, only from Humminbird. Continuing the revolution, faster, drier, even better built. Designed around Yamaha's latest technology outboards. Still built by the same craftsmen and anglers who launched the Bay Boat Revolution. Whether chasing world records, or time on the water with the family, or anything in between, there's a new Pathfinder model for you. Pathfinder, number one for a reason, still. It's been said that a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at the office. But down here in the Florida Keys, we have to disagree. Because with over 200 of the world's best charter boat captains and guides, there's no such thing as a bad day of fishing. The Florida Keys and Key West. Thank you for joining us on Sportsman's Adventures. You can catch all the latest happenings, contests, appearances by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to hook up with Sportsman's Adventures, you can find full episodes of Sportsman's Adventures plus tips and techniques on our YouTube channel. If there's a product that we use during the show that you'd like to know more about, you can find links to our sponsors by heading to sportsmansadventures.com. Guys, if you're ever over on the West Coast, one of the coolest places that you need to definitely check out is the old bridge that connected Sarasota and Bradenton to St. Pete and Tampa. Now, certainly there was a tragic story that goes with this bridge that was constructed in the 50s. In 1980, a barge on a very foggy morning actually hit the bridge, killing over 35 people. Now, they constructed a new bridge. It took them over seven years, and that certainly is the Skyway, which is one of the most beautiful things that you can see at night. But more importantly, to fishermen, what makes this place so cool and so unique is certainly the pier is now, or the old road, has become fishing piers. You have one on the south side, as well as one on the north side. Now, the fish that they catch off of there is grouper, Spanish mackerels, kingfish, 
and a variety of other species depending on the migrational seasons. So it certainly merits the reason why it's today's Costa cool place and definitely a cool moment. Red right on. Got him, Jeffrey? Got him. He blew up on that pilchard, Rick. I threw on him and he ate it. <laughs> oh, here I see him coming right here. Good morning. Oh, well, it's been a while, on. Captain Rick. Good job, Jeffrey. Last time you had me on a sportsman's adventure, it was you and Chris Seeger making fun of me out there in a place I'm not used to. What do you mean? We was out there 30, 40 miles out in some godforsaken Gulf of Mexico. Well, that's there, where you live. There's all over out there. You live in the Gulf of Mexico. I don't. I live in the bay. Remember? Take your time. I Take got your him. time. I saw one pop out there. Easy, easy. Looks like a nice big red buff. It is. There's a couple hundred laying out here. I was just getting ready to change my hook. I thought you wanted a 5.0 and then you told me you wanted a 1.0, so I'm switching over to my little 1.0 VMCJ hook. That fish is going to town. Oh yeah. So Jeffrey, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. What's the secret to fishing live bait in a place that, you know, by most part around here, these parts, this time of year when you have pilchards, what's the secret to it? To make sure that you don't overfeed them or do you, you know, I see guys slinging, I mean, just hey, miles. Can I get a little help here? Right? Are you ready? Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Hold on one second. The secret is pretty much the same as when we fish lures, is having the boat set up properly. And today we've got a pretty good southeast wind. And you saw I eased up here. I didn't even see the fish. And I just, I started putting bait out, looking for one to blow up, because there's snook up here too. Nice. He blew up for sure. That's a 26 and three quarter if I ever saw one. Come on. <laughs> You want That's to check a five him? pounder. Oh, please. Come on. We're going to get that, that VMC hook out of his face there, Buff. Yep. So once again. That's a great way to start. Could you grip him for me there with some of those paws of yours? I got him. I got him. I'm Here, I, you know what? Give me. You get your pliers. Give me the fish. You get the pliers. Well, the circle hook went right in the corner of his mouth. Just like it's supposed to. Yeah. There we go. Boy, that sure is pretty. Look at all that. Nice. Good job, Jeffrey. Good job. There you go. Nice. nice Jeffrey, one. it is so nice to fish with a guy who knows the fish like their first name basis. That's it. That's awesome. That might be another species. We've caught a red, we've caught a snook. I think you got a trout. Wow. Yeah, nice, nice trout. trout. Nice trout. Wow. Cool, man. There's a Johnny. I heard on one of your shows you said, I call him John John in honor of Captain Page. I said that. I heard that. Diane's daddy told me that. He was laughing. Cool. Now look at the yellow. See, that's one of the things I love about these fish, Jeffrey. When they get bigger, mm -hmm. that mouth gets real yellow. Look and that's what a lot of people, the old crackers, call them, the old yellow, yellow mouth. mouth. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by La Jolla Resort, a place for family and fishermen. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Custom trailer manufacturer, Ameritrail. Contender Boats, performance through innovation. Suffix Lines, the world's most hardcore fishing line. VMC, your expert in hooks. 
Startron cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. And there's no stopping Okuma. You know there's more to it than luck. There's fishing the right bait, the water temperature, the wind, the season, and then there's the boat. We'll put it simply, the boat matters. To own a contender is to own the best sport fishing boat on the market, period. Contender offers the most comprehensive model range with bigger, faster, and more fuel efficient boats than the competition. There's only one choice for serious anglers. Contender Boats, performance through innovation. All fishermen are created equal. Some just use better fishing line. It's been said that a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at the office. But down here in the Florida Keys, we have to disagree. Because with over 200 of the world's best charter boat captains and guides, there's no such thing as a bad day of fishing. The Florida Keys and Key West. Yamaha's next generation V6 four strokes are changing the game. The mid range power was awesome. Fuel, the burn, it's unbelievable. I couldn't believe the speed and the fuel economy is pretty impressive. I mean, I couldn't believe the power. It was like a. Just. It was more like doing a quarter mile on a drag strip. And them things are like, it's a whole other game. So I made the switch. Experience the difference for yourself during the Yamaha Discover V6 Offshore Demo Tour. See why we call it the Game Changer. We're a one-stop shop for whatever you might need in Sarasota. We're real service oriented. When you walk in the door, hopefully we have someone right there to greet and meet you and help you. We have live shrimp. We have frozen baits, we have lures, we have tackle for your needs, sunglasses, we have one-stop shop. We also have kayaks, paddle boards, bicycles, mm -hmm. um, jet skis, there's parasail offered. Boats? Boat, boat rentals, big boat rentals. Important to us is our customers and what we can tell them and teach them and help them have a good time while they're here. And they can go fishing from the beach, they can go fishing from a boat, they can hire a guide. However we can help them, we'll do our best. Ah, you got them in the, in the sweet spot. Hey. <laughs> got them. Man must be living right getting all these bites. Ooh. It's a oh, yellow mouth. One come eight mine. You got another big trout. Big trout. Johnny John. Oh, there's another one. Pete, another one trying to eat the pilchard on I the line. I know it. I know it. That's all right. We'll catch him. Wow. You know what, Jeffrey? Huh. The thing that makes this part of Florida so special. Look at that one underneath. I know. He wants that pilchard that's dangling. I let, it go, let it go down. He'll come grab it. What makes this place? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I got two on at one time. Put a hook in the second one. My oh, friend, cool. Hey, my friend Jeremy and I have been doing charters here, and that happens almost every time. Wow. Oh, he didn't get it though. There it is still. What so go ahead. What makes it so special? Tampa Bay, Port Charlotte, Boca Grande, you know, certainly Ponta Gorda. What makes it so special is the variety of fish and the seasonal migrations that you guys have. But your mainstay of fish is the three inshore. Yep. Trout, redfish, and snook. You guys have them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Yep. So Jeffrey, typically, let's talk about the rig here that we're using. Well, if you know you're in snook, bigger snook, I suggest going with 30. Right. And even bumping up to 40. But being with the trout and redfish mixed in, 25 suffix will suffice. You just got to retie like we are right now. 
So we got this little VMC 1-0 hook. I put them in the box with my 5-0 circle hooks in case we go tarpon fishing yeah, right. or we got to go up on some bigger leader or bigger size rods. Certainly small hooks, as you know, can catch a lot of big fish. The only thing you got to worry about is as you go up in the size of the braid, then you got a potential of straightening hooks out because of the light wire. Why I like the 1-0 is because those pilchards can swim so freely right. with a light wire hook. You right. start getting heavy gauge wire and big shanked hooks that it hinders that swim on that pilchard, fish won't eat it. So we got about a foot and a half to two feet of suffix Invisalign 25 yep. tied to our 832. And this is four 10 pound, four 10 pound. pound diameter, 10 White. pound test white and look we've even got the new suffix braid scissors the suffix oh that's what makes it sweet uh -huh. little snip snip yep all right we need two pilchards coming up one for me and one for you to chump okay <laughs> it's, it's funny but i'm not getting the fish as much on these live bait shows i think i'm more buana boy you're spoiling me which you always do. I love, page. I love throwing these pilchards sometimes. All right. You got that one, Poppy. Yeah. Trout. Big. Oh, it might be a snook. Big snook. Yeah. Nice. You had to spoon feed him, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> that's what it was these, nuts. On, hey, on these slow tide days, that's what you got to do. You watched him eat it, didn't you? So Rick? let's talk about the tide page. What, All right. What is it that you like? You know, on what tide? When you look at the tide chart, what are you looking for? I like new and full moon, like most anglers. But is that just the day of? No, day that week of. The week of. Because uh -huh. you get a big tall high and you get a big drop in low. I and what gotcha. we have today is almost a flat line. Uh -huh. And what happens on a cardiogram machine when you're flat lined? Nothing. You die. That's it. And that's what the fishing does. Yeah, you, you get a bite. But you got to work for it. Yeah. Look how many times that snook bit your bait. Yeah. Good and strong forget, tide, he would have ate that bait one time. And forget about throwing artificial. Oh. Instead, we've caught probably 15 fish today. Oh, that's a nice one. And instead of of uh, catching 15 fish on the artificial, you'd be lucky if you get a couple bites while the tide was moving. Exactly. Got it. But with the help of the pilchard or the AOI, depending on where you live. <laughs> now, this is how you hold them. You taught me that. Yeah. Man, look at how look that hook cool. got him. Right there in the snoot. <laughs> right here. We just made a hair lip out of him. Oh, look Jeffrey. at the size of the school. Jeffrey, we fooled this one with the balsa extreme minnow. We couldn't get him to even eat a live pilcher. And that minnow was just tangling him in his face. Just just a little tickle tickle. You got one too? Oh, I saw that one come up and eat it and spit it, eat it and spit it. Did he come back and get it? Yes! Yeah, no! Sing to me, baby. Look at this redfish school. Dang. Crimson! <laughs> cool! Good job! Double header on big ones. Nice! These are big fish too, Jeffrey. I know, they're all sizes. Look at this, Rick. Bird just pooped on my shoulder. Oh, that's good luck. Is it? Shiitake on your shoulder. Look at that. <laughs> Look at those tanks going by. Oh, this fish here is way over 27. Oh, yeah, yeah. I... And a lot of them are. Did we, did we make another great, did we make another great sportsman's adventure? We will be able to say yes, sir, in about as soon as we land both of these big bad boys. Oh, nice. Look at this fish, Paige. Oh. Here we go. Look at this fish here, Jeffrey. All right, I'm gonna put mine in the rod holder. I'll come land yours. Mine ain't going nowhere. Then you can help me land mine. Woo! 
Come on. The balsa, Where is the balsa? is gone. I'm going to let you work on that while I get mine in, okay? Wow. Look at that. The Rapala is just, it's gone. Did he cork stone This it? is the newest plug from Rapala, man. And I got to tell you. Oh, look. Where did it go? The good I Lord think only knows. That looks like something he wanted to eat. <sighs> nice fish, Paige. Man, Jeffrey, this is how you celebrate 20 years of Sportsman's Adventures right here, bud. Double header. And this is what makes them great trips. When you can end the day like this with two monster redfish, it doesn't get any better, bub. That's what I'm talking about. Sarasota Bay and Sportsman's Adventures always seems to come together. The St. Pete, Tampa area certainly has some great fishing, and Jeff always seems to find the fish. When working the shoreline with live bait, you never know what you're going to catch. But one thing is for sure, whenever Jeff and Rick get together, it always makes for a fun day on the water and another great sportsman's adventures. Keep up with the latest Sportsman's Adventures news and events by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Coming up next week on Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy. Oh, and the time is right! You got him on, Reed! What time is it? It's time in time, Reed! <laughs> That's what you came here for! <laughs> <laughs>